going to talk about Angel of Assisis, which is a sculpture in my exhibition, which is up at Triste uh, still right now. If you're watching this anywhere near when I'm posting it, um, I myself am in Australia at the moment um, on tour. Uh, so, Angel of Assisis is one of four sculptures in the show devoted to the four cardinals, Assisis, Catharsis, Fervor, Majesty. So there's Angel of each of those four things. And, um, maybe I'll start by just describing the piece. So there's um, a placemat, menstrual pad, a pair of light bulbs, spray paint, um, sort of a, a found uh, reclaimed like aluminum kind of kitchen island type of thing. Um, there is a panel, a wooden panel board. And then um, a, an original design laser engraved on the panel board uh, that I engraved with my laser engraver. And then um, some crosses that are laser engraved on a mirror tray. Um, and what I'm... Um, interested in in this piece is really the the sacramental dimension of art so to step back for a second in the previous commentary I did on the on the first piece in the show this is the second commentary I'm doing on a piece I talked about the four alimonies and that there are four co-equal uh, approaches to the world and um, one of them is religious basically and um, a thesis in my like I sort of use it as a technical term obviously it's, it's a word of its own um, in like ordinary parlance and my use of it is pretty similar to that like a thesis is the activity of the religious life world, basically, and um, and uh, and it's it's irreducible to commerce um, or to critique or to learning or anything like that, right? It's like it's its own. Um, function or form or uh, just mode of the aesthetic and to, to put it very straightforwardly like uh, you know art, artworks like icons and relics participate in this aesthetic regime um, where their their function is to you know, be be divine to 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 be a miracle, um, and uh, and it, it's really important to me. You know that I'm not uh, like I'm not examining it. I'm not I'm not studying it. Uh, you know this this work, the the function of this work is sacramental. Um, there are other pieces in the show. Uh, where I'm not foregrounding the sacramental function of art uh, as much, but th this is not one of them. This is this is Angel of Assisis, and um, you know I, I think sort of what some of the the materials or the uh, you know just makeup of the piece means to me. And by the way, 
kind of, I don't, probably don't really have to say this, but, you know, as I'm speaking about this piece, like, I'm not explaining it, like, it, you know, it's not rendering a concept, um, I'm just sort of, uh, you know, drawing your attention to a concept, um, and maybe interpreting it or something like that, um, but my, my process of making work is very, uh, intuitive, you know, that, that's, pr that's part of what art is. Uh, I, I don't really believe in conceptual art in some ways. Anyway, that's a whole other topic, but, um, yeah, the key to this piece is the sacramental, and, um, you know, with, with the material, I mean, the, generally in the show, the, you know, the menstrual pads have some relationship to the blood of Christ, um, you know, there, there is this blood, uh, which is, uh, fertile, right, it's, it's beckoned, it's, it's the blood of birth, um, but it's also blood, uh, of, of suffering, right, you know, Christ's, Christ's wounds, uh, are, are bloody, and, uh, and, you know, his, his death, his, his sacrifice is the source of our salvation, and um, and that's that's a big source of interest to me in this show is like the nature of blood. I mean, it's also like, like it's up the show's up during this you know Gaza Israel invasion, uh, and I'm very hyper aware of the blood and the images. And, um, you know, that's, that, that, that's an antinomy that I explore a lot. I'll actually be talking about that in, in a couple of weeks with the ten antinomies of apocalyptic humanism that, like, um, there's this, you know, one, one would like to believe that the, the blood of suffering ends up being worth it. Um, and that, you know, our, our lives have woe and joy in them, and you need, you need more woe to have more joy, um, but that, um, you know, there, there's something irreducibly, you know, disgusting and, and horrific about blood, um, but then it's also so fecund, and it's also, like, anyway, so th there's this... Uh, attraction I have, I think, to the power of the theme of blood to really go beyond, um, beyond language, beyond meaning, uh, beyond morality, and, uh, and then, you know, the, the sacrament of the, um, uh, of the Eucharist, I, I guess that's kind of the meaning of the place, Matt, to me, um, you know, just, just, just the notion of sort of like eating, you know, like, like, like consumption, consumption of the blood of Christ, uh, it just has this logic to it that, I mean, you know, as, I mean, as someone who goes to church and takes the Eucharist as much as I can, um, you know, there's, there's something about that that is irreducible, um, other aesthetic experiences, but there's also something that is really, you know, it's, it's also not non-aesthetic, it's, it's, it's divine, but it, you know, it does, it does use the tools of the aesthetic, and, um, so that's, you know, all those things are really of interest to me in this piece, sort of cutting, you know, the, I, I, I guess I kind of imagine the the laser engraved the kind of messy or laser engraved stuff as kind of like a cutting board, um, this like chopping, this preparing, this consuming, fecundity, death, um, and uh, I'm always interested in having mirrors in my pieces for sort of you know si situating them in the sort of experience situating the viewer in their own experience of the piece. So, um, 
yeah, that's this this piece is a little sort of relic of the idea of a thesis and and is meant you know I, I it's hard to escape the conceptual frame uh, but in principle it's meant to be outside of it and to really be a, a sacred sacred work of art.